there we go. First shed. This guy walked right up on me. No idea he was there. There we go. I'm out in uh, northern Montana, northeastern Montana, doing some nest searching. Beautiful morning. It is around 5:40, and uh, I'm just about to take my measurements here. But I'll show you what I did. So I take these this uh, anemometer first, and I'll check the wind and the temperature. I'll record that. That helps us determine some things about uh, the factors for detection of birds. And uh, you see there, there, you might be able to see some flying over there. So there are birds here, I was starting to get a little worried. They say there's a lot of birds here, but I didn't see many until I started sitting down and looking around. A lot of chestnut collared long spurs, a lot of meadow larks, a bunch of sparrows. But uh, yeah, we'll get into the nest search in here pretty quick. Hey there. Hello. Kind of circling me because I just ate a quesadilla. This guy walked right up on me. No idea he was there. Still watching me too. I ran into him earlier. I must be in his hunting grounds. Smelled the grease on my uh, quesadilla and came walking up. He stalked me too. He was creeping. I was kind of getting nervous there for a second there. Like coyotes don't really attack people that much. So I was getting kind of nervous here, but uh, I uh, just stopped to have a snack and sure enough, stalking up on me. I was really, really starting to get worried there. But don't worry, I can, I can protect myself. Still though, that was kind of, yikes. That coyote is still watching me. I just sat back down, I was staking out my, uh, yeah, he's up on that hill, he's silhouetted, he was jumping to try to see me from over that hill. He's still peeking at me. Um, I can still see him jumping over there, staring at me. But it must be in this hunting ground because there's a bunch of small mammals here that you'd be eating, and it must be intruding. Oh, he's coming towards me again. Because he started, like, I, I watched him earlier come across a ridge line and just start staring at me and I sat down hoping he might come closer so I get a good look at him and he uh he started circling around me to get upwind and come down to say hello and uh when I stood up with not seeing him over the ridge he ran off and kept looking at me I thought oh well I guess that's the last I'm gonna see of him and now uh turn around and the thing is like five feet from me <laughs> I didn't turn around until I talked to him I didn't run off I'm wondering what would have happened if I just don't say anything maybe you'll get really close I noticed in my <laughs> when I was looking at that coyote that I was talking with a mouthful of gummies you know I, I get hungry out here man okay so don't blame me for chewing in your ear when this coyote's coming up on me and, and interrupting my second breakfast here. He caught me off guard. I don't know what to say. I thought he was gonna circle back around, um, but he didn't this time, at least as far as I could tell. I checked uh, 
At first I thought he was gonna come up to the north of me, which he didn't because uh, I misread the wind and he probably would have come from the south where I would be upwind of him and he'd have this low point in this valley here to go and uh, sneak up on me. But he didn't do either. I guess he must have just moved on probably waiting for me to leave so he can snack on some uh, ground squirrels or whatever those rodents are. So we didn't find any nests here. There's barely any, there's a couple males just playing, but I saw no females. Fortunately got skunked there. I can't keep finding no nests or just one nest. I gotta keep find. I gotta find more. I was really hoping that I'd find them on this one, but I just didn't see anything. So let's hope this, uh, this next plot is a little bit more productive. Hey guys, we're on a, a native plot. And we're probably not gonna be here for too long. Here in the conditions, looks like it's pretty rainy. It's already raining on me a little bit. If there's lightning, it's gonna be out the window, but it's a really pretty morning. Lots of rainbows and uh, a little bit of rain and a decent amount of sun. It's kind of chilly because of the wind. A lot of cows. Today we are doing just nest searching. And this is the one spot where they really wanted me to check out. It seems some birds are active, but it seems that most of them are just uh, the different kind of longs for chestnut collared or after the thick build. So it could be prove a little bit of a challenge. At least it's super pretty out here. We're gonna end up going back a little early anyways to because we have stuff we gotta do in town. Um, let's see, are we approaching our destination here? Just about, we're almost inside. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sit around inside again, look for males, and then hopefully they'll lead us to the females. And then we're gonna, the females will hopefully lead us to their nest. Or we're just gonna walk in a bunch of circles until I can find something to jump off the nest. Now, these cows, although they're adorable, they are making a bit of a disturbance in the site, so it might not be ideal searching time. But I guess we're just gonna do what, with, uh, what we can. I was just complaining to my friends about how I haven't found a shed yet. And there we go. First shed. I'm gonna mark it on the map and maybe we'll find the other one around here somewhere during our survey, but prioritizing the nests, of course. But heck yeah. First shed. This actually looks really nice too. We got displaying male here, pretty close. But I don't see a female yet, so we're gonna watch him for a little bit. The female landed right next to me, stood there for a little bit and then took off this way. I thought she might have landed on the nest like right next to me, but now I'm having second thoughts. Oh, that might be one actually right here. I'm gonna mark right here. I'm gonna back off and then see if she flies back to her nest. That looked very promising right there. She jumped right off there, hopped only a few feet away, pooped, and just stared at me. So it turned out we were right. Walked right up on that nest and got her. I, uh, I fell back, waited, and then uh, walked in on the nest and sure enough there was a nest there. I'm gonna walk in. I already filled out all my stuff for it, so I'm just gonna walk in and show you guys what it looks like, if my GPS will calibrate. There we go. Um, I'll show you what it looks like and really quick so we don't disturb it any more than we need to, and then we'll get out of here and look for more. And where'd it go? Here it is. I didn't really expect to find more than one nest, so uh, if we find another one, that'll be awesome. But I didn't bring out any more sheets, so I'll just record it in my notebook. But I saw some more hanging out over this area, over here, along with some chestnut collards, so we're gonna check it out and uh, see if we can find another one over here. Mm -hmm. 